I'm walking, I'm walking. As far as I got the movie script memorized, like memorized, the way I have developed it so far. Uh, yeah. The barrier has gone down. The way I have really uh, got it together so far. To me, it is as if though Yeah. I could even, you know, include this sort of You know that wishful universe that people sometimes go for. If you know what I'm talking about. There are these books and as you wish, you will receive or the secrets of Clementine something. And all these books, you know that kind of have been uh, put out there by the elite actually to lead us astray um, I can now uh, put into the <laughs> now watch this I'm gonna I'm gonna zip zip the <laughs> the raincoat <laughs> so that the bag isn't flying about on the back so when it starts raining, I'll be without raincoat, but I will have, uh, you know, look at this. So now I zip the raincoat and now the bag on the back is not flying to the side. Am I clever? <laughs> Oi, this is real heavy. There you see me fighting. So yeah, all the, you know, like in the, Ooh. like it says, all work and no fun is something, you know, I don't know what makes Johnny go crazy. I don't know what it is. I just know that I could handle Hello. the first part of the movie script as if though people are just, you know, moving things about and then once she has realized she's not going home because the cat has died and, you know, looking at the homeless, she goes saying to herself, I'm just like homeless. You know, she realizes, I need to go home. Like E.T. said, want to telephone home. <laughs> Something like that, he said. So, I am thinking about, you know, this book where it says, once you change yourself, then your surrounding will answer in the same way and that's half logical because once you have um, put yourself into a mode which is let's say happy receiving and giving so then others around you they, they are the same as always but you're window of opportunity within your brains just sees the positive the givers and the stuff that works out nicely right so it's not that you are actually well then by the time passing 
you might change your environment because I tell you people that don't like optimistic people like me once they get enough or can of me or can leave they do so so it's like these opposites don't attract each other they do attract each other in the sense that the people being negative and depressed they kind of when I enter the room they go like <gasps> you know there she is someone positive optimistic so in that sense but otherwise two forces of the same kind they can unite they cannot just be beside each other you know like that attraction that attraction is not making a mixture of these two forces they just come close and experience each other but two forces of the same kind they can unite of course I talk about emotions and feelings here and about uh, views upon life but also it's the same in physics so when in physics we know that oh yeah two oils they'll uh, mix you can create a oil containing another oil and they completely mix not well in, in physics there is mixtures and then there is uh, how do you call that if things dissolve within each other then it's something else than a mixture because also in a mixture you still have like the initial components beside each other but also within that very same space very close so you're seeing them share a space well that's the first lesson you have to go through when being in a physics class they will teach you about the you know different kinds of uh, bonds that elements can form between them so <clears throat> sometimes they merge and create something new that's not the mixture so that's actually what happens when I say two things so energies of the same kind will you know interweave isn't the right right word because you get something new so two threads creating something new you know it's yeah and it's a lasting uh, bond if two things actually create a third totally new element and then there is the other whereas two things just get close create the mixture but never give themselves up they always stay right there beside each other so that's physics what I learned in physics but I have to say I'm missing the words I don't really know one was mixture and the other one was I don't recall so yeah I'm hot sweating and I haven't even reached the first bench so today I'm taking it easy and slowly and I'm gonna contemplate on my movie K 
characters, the protagonist, a female, are solved. So she's all dull and all work and having no fun until she realizes that she's jumping about the world and not really ever going home. So because of wanting to avoid the pictures, emotions of the dead cat to resurface. So that's uh, what's happening. And then you have her, you know, she does this and that and she travels with people and she sees people doing yogurt, which is yoga, and she's not joining. So then she's, as I said, passing by some people that are, uh, well, she's waiting for people and be, be, before those people arrive. So this is my first bench. I'm gonna sit here and talk and then when, oops, when I leave, I'll be just walking because it's so difficult to walk and talk with such a lot of weight on my back. I'm really carrying a lot of stuff with me. So there you go. That's the cable car going up. So I'm showing you this one. Woo. In a overhead. Yeah, that's the words that I learned like from a low angle would be showing something with a camera underneath. So I'm gonna have a ankle level. So when they say the level of the camera is eyes or knees, shoulders, or overhead, like God's view, is like f totally from the top down. I love all these words because they really mean something within movie script formatting. The way you put the things into words. So, and when you look from above, a bit like downward, that's a high angle. That's just the way it's called. <laughs> And I always went explaining the camera is up there on the level of your hips pointing downward but actually it would be then a um, high angle and it would be on hip level you know pointing downward and then also the pans like when a camera is moving I gotta you know tell is it a rough movement handheld camera is it rather a pan and on what is the camera located is it on a drone on a helicopter or is it on a stick or on a dolly like dolly is with tracks so those tracks should not be seen but also there is a waste camera existing and that waste camera um, creates a certain effect like Tovelu, Tovelo habit, her video. So yeah, I love it and I will walk up and think about all the other characters in my movie because the protagonist I have said, yeah, she sees the homeless and then she wants to go home even though, yeah, She's been traveling forever.